Good afternoon, and what are your names? I'm Samantha. I'm Andrew. This is Christian. We're here to talk about Christian. Tell us a little about him. Sure. Well, Christian is two and a half. He was diagnosed with stage four Burkitt's lymphoma two days before Christmas. And we had just noticed he was bumping into things one day. And then we took him to the emergency room to get checked out. And then um, they did a CT scan and they said they had a large mass in his brain. Um, after some biopsies the next day, they said he had stage four lymphoma affecting his brain, his kidney, and his um, bone marrow. Oh. Mm -hmm. And when you first diagnosed, what, what was that like? Like just finding out? It was devastating. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it was uh, probably the worst day yeah. of our life. And um, most importantly, we just can't imagine several things. Number one, what life would be like without him. Yes. And second of all, the fact that he lost all of his eyesight mm. in one day says Burkitt's is so aggressive. Yes. He went from having sight in the morning and he lost it by that evening. Mm. And um, thank goodness that Burkitt's responds really well to chemo. Okay. And so he has recovered, I would Daddy. just estimate maybe 60, 70% okay. of his eyesight, Daddy. but we're not really sure. Yeah. It's hard for a two year old to tell us. Yeah. <laughs> so, and, um, and you can see he's very active. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's in a good place right now before okay. he starts uh, his fifth round of chemo this yeah. week. And we're hoping that he will be done with treatment um, sometime in June if his scans come back clear. And so that is what we're hoping for. Okay. And yep. if other parents are watching this and going through the same as you guys, what words of advice would you guys give to them? Honestly, I think you've got to really, first and foremost, uh, humble yourself yeah. and ask for help. Okay. It just, you cannot do this road alone, yes, um, number one. I mean, prayer, but I think asking for help was really difficult. We've been quite independent and, you know, we have really close family yes. and everything, but that's just not enough. Uh, fighting really a deadly disease just takes so much uh, support mm -hmm. and um and I mean, we are in the hospital more than we are at home. Yeah. And so we've got great neighbors who are here to just kind of check in on us. And that just means so much and goes such a long way. So community, I would say, um, really makes the biggest difference in trying to survive this. Okay. Right, Christian? Well, thank you guys so much for sharing your story. Thank you so much.